All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the series. Hope everyone's doing well today. We are jumping into what will be season five of Interloper. Um, so I've just just uh, fired up a new run here. Um, looks like we're getting a Pleasant Valley spawn. Uh, I think that's where we spawned season four. So kind of kind of keeping the trend alive there. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are looking forward to this as much as I am. This is going to be the first season that we've done on the channel for uh, interloper gameplay, I guess you'd call it, that uh, is going to be recorded on PC. So I've kind of talked about it a little bit in the channel, um, you know, in the past and I guess recently that uh, that was the direction I was kind of moving. And uh, here we are. So... It was really unfortunate we lost our last run <laughs> as soon as we did, really, especially after I built it up so much about making it 500 days. Um, but uh, it kind of afforded us this opportunity as well to move over to, to PC versus uh, PlayStation 5, which, of course, you guys know that I've kind of always recorded on in the past. So, yeah, here we are. Um, I don't know that we're going to maybe as strictly goal set in this one. Oops, that's not good. Man, that was like flat ground almost. That's so annoying. Um, you know, last time we made a big to-do about making it 500 days. Let's just have fun this time, guys. <laughs> Obviously, uh, I don't know I don't know what day we ended up dying on in season four, um, but it was only in the 30s, <laughs> so. Um, I don't know. I, I will say that 500 days is, is something I would like to do. Um, it's an accomplishment I would like to have. And so, you know, if it happens, great. You know, but, but let's not like, let's not beat ourselves up about it and try and get there. Um, all right, we need to be getting to probably some shelter pretty quick. Let's try and grab some cattails here. So, yeah, I'm going to be kind of, I mean, I, I started with the game on PC, you know, several years ago before it was ever released on consoles. So, you know, it's 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 kind of where I started with the game, I guess. I mean, I, I think that's probably the same for a lot of people, but uh, I haven't really played it much on PC and, you know, probably outside of maybe an hour or so here and there, probably very much since it was released on console. Um, so, I mean, obviously it's the same game. It's going to play the same. It, it's just, it's going to be interesting for me. There's, there's, there's buttons and things that are in different spots and, and I guess some of that's self-inflicted. So, um, obviously coming off PlayStation 5, used to PlayStation controls. Um, I am obviously playing on PC. I am playing with the Xbox controller and, and the reason for that is... Uh, like I could, I could definitely plug in the PlayStation controller and and use that. But uh, I need to find, figure out where I'm at. I'm a little turned around right now. I don't feel so good. Um, is that the icons and things? At least from what I could tell immediately, are um, you know locked into Xbox and and maybe they can change in the long dark. But it's it's that way in other games, and so I've just kind of rocked with the. Xbox controller as I've, uh, you know, played uh, with controller on PC, so no uh, no different here for the long dark, I guess you'd say. I may eventually do the keyboard thing. I don't know. The problem with keyboard for me is like, and there's, and since I've kind of moved over to PC and been playing a lot of PC games lately, there are games, you know, where I do play with mouse and keyboard. Um, Damn, that smarts. Is a lot of times like I just like to kick back and play, right? Like PC or mouse and keyboard, you pretty much have to be sat up at your desk, you know. I, I mean, I guess there's probably contraptions that would let me like, you know, kick the chair back and or or sit on the couch with the keyboard and stuff. But it's just it's not just not what I want to do. So. Uh, just uh, just a little bit easier, but but uh, that all being said, um, you know there are buttons and things that are a little bit different um, with the Xbox controller than you know playing on PlayStation. 
<laughs> I don't know. You guys are probably like, all right, dude, we, we don't care. But but uh, this is kind of what I'm dealing with at the moment. Um, the game looks great, PC. Um, I knew that coming in, that it would. I'm uh, getting close to 200 frames right now um, in 4K, which is just awesome. It just looks fantastic. All right. Hello. Apparently we're having a wolf convention over here. Um, which is great. And until probably a month or two ago, you know, I was playing in 30 frames per second on PlayStation until I realized that they even had a control to, to dial that up to 60. And, you know, 30 to 60 was a big jump, but now I'm going basically within the last six months from 30 to almost 200. So <laughs> it's... Uh, it's a totally different world. The game just looks fantastic, um, honestly. So, it hurts. All right. So, Pleasant Valley, huh? It'd be nice if we'd gotten something a little different, maybe. But I don't know what that would be. Oh, damn, that's smart. I don't know what uh, what could have been so different that. What do we got? So that hat will help right away. We need some gloves to get rid of our, uh, so we don't keep getting frostbite risk every time we're outside. So let's shake this what place down. Here? Sensitivity is a little high. I'm like jumping all over the place. It's, it's just, uh, it's gonna be so nice to be able to have my recording and editing and everything kind of all in one system rather than I know I've talked about it a little bit in the past but I don't have to record one place and then extract it or put it on a hard drive move it over to PC you know edit it it just you know it's all kind of going to be one seamless system so super excited um it'll even you know if we decide to kind of start doing it more be a bit easier to to stream and things like that so i don't have to run through a capture card or anything necessarily if i don't want to um yeah so um i mean that being said there might be some games and stuff that come along in the future if they're exclusive to it's a playstation we might you know do some series there or something i don't know feel so good you know i'll still play my playstation and things like that but i've been pretty tied into PC since I, I bought this rig. Okay, um, water. That's going to be the big thing. I always talk about that that's, that's really the first hurdle for me personally is getting water, so that, that gets us kind of down the road a little bit right there. Gets us a few days. Right, let's go. We already looted the kitchen most of this, right? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Check the fridge. I wonder who owns this stuff. Go. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn the sensitivity down. That's crazy. Um. No. Let's leave it. At least for now. I don't know if we'll come back for it or not. But let's uh. Let's mess with the uh, sensitivity really quick, if you guys don't mind. Uh, that's not really what I want, is it? Maybe. Let's turn it down to like 10. That sounds really low. Um, that's maybe a little low. Let's, let's turn it back up maybe the, just a little bit. Um, controls. I don't know, we'll roll with this for a while and if it needs to go back up, we can change it back up. Um, the, the feats you guys might've seen as I paused it there in the, in the corner. So I have, uh, I forget what that one's called. The one with the foot, but I have cold fusion and, and the one that basically you recover stamina quicker when you sprint. And that is just purely guys, because those are the ones that I have. <laughs> so I mentioned, I haven't played, uh, this on PC for years and that is, that is true. And so as a reflection of that, I don't have a lot of the feats. Um, so I think I have those two, and then I have the the bonus you get um, for reading 250 hours. So I'm just running what we've got. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll make do. Obviously, I think maybe the first season or two of Interloper 
um, on the channel. We, I think, played with no feats, maybe. Maybe at least the first season. And uh, did just fine for quite a while, so... We'll, uh, we'll deal with that as we have to. Um, Alright, let's break some of this down. We may have to make hand wraps just because I'm not finding gloves and we're getting pretty low on spots to search at the moment. Okay, we hit all this. Let's go do the other rooms. What do you guys think? What should we do in this run? What should we do in this run to uh, kind of make it unique or establish it as, as something different? Always open to kind of put a new twist on things. You guys know that. Um, 500 days was what we kind of looked at last time. Obviously, we fell flat of that. And, and I don't know if that's the same sort of goal I want to set or twist or anything, but... Um, yeah, what do you think? What what do you want to see? Is there a region you'd like me to spend some time in in this run? Or I don't feel so good. You know what? What do you guys think? Hit me in the comments and uh, let me know. Hope nobody needs this anymore. That's weird. Have they always had that little spot on the back? It's still super. Look at that. Okay. Enough of that. All right. Let's grab some more cloth. I think since we're already in Pleasant Valley, we're going to go to the summit right away. That was something we didn't do last time, but, uh, you know, that was like, was it a blizzard or what? That was because we were like super focused on trying to survive. And so it was like not worth the risk to go. And we were pretty well established. But uh, since we're right here this time, Man, that is so loud. Can I grab this? Yep. Okay. I think we've tossed to this place. I think we need to hit the basement, and then I think we're done here. It does sound like maybe there's a blizzard with as much as the uh, the uh, roof was shaken. Ah, oh, damn. Smarts. Sack of potatoes. Um, I did. First aid. Um, I think I may have mentioned, or I may not have, but I didn't have far territories until like today or a couple days ago um, for PC anyway. So I recently added that. So we should be up to date with everything. So when the new content comes out that they've just kind of talked about in the September. Uh, Dev diary, we should be able to jump right this. into that. Throw that on. It's not going to give us much more warmth, but it's something. Yeah, I'm getting real, real weird sound from uh, outside. It's like, like it wants to start storming, and then it just stops. It's like as I go in and out of menus, it stops. Oh, this is one of those new containers. There's got to be something useful in there's here. Usually, yeah, there's usually food in it. I just, I just don't know what to do with the food. It's just not in my play style to, to do that stuff yet. I just haven't figured out how to incorporate it. Um. All right, so we found no gloves. Seven percent frostbite risk. I think, you know, we had to do it last time, so let's just go ahead and do it. Am I am I warm in here? Or? Yeah, okay. I'm trying to figure out the buttons and stuff, so if I'm going in like in and out of menus really weird, that's probably why I can't figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> um we need the sewing kit to do that really. Okay. Well that will stop the frostbite. Okay, um, so it was, it's not quite nighttime. Let's go check the weather and then, you know, if we can get over to the barn, maybe we go over to the barn and just see if it's windy or actually storming. And it's actually storming, which also looks great. <laughs> it looks great on uh, PC so far. Blizzard. I don't feel so good. 
Uh, we can maybe go check that car. This, this probably locks us into here for the night. Unless we went to that little shed. We could go to that little shed, actually. Let's Damn, do that. that smarts. Grab a little picture of that. Let's hit the car, and then we'll go over to the shed. I'm hoping we'll be warm enough in the shed. We'll see. If not, we'll just make the walk back over. Everything is so crisp. I love it. Can't run yet because of our ankle. This is Sprint. I think they're like opposite almost of what they are on uh, PlayStation. I don't know. We'll get used to it for sure. I think really the only thing on a PlayStation that I'm like eager to play would be the new Spider-Man game. And I'm not like, like I'm not going to day one that one probably. I'm just not that uber excited for it. I liked the first one. Um, I honestly have never played Miles Morales. Um, I'd like to, I just have never gotten around to it. And so, like, I feel like I probably need to play Miles Morales before I, I play uh, Spider-Man 2. I'm excited uh, for Venom. I don't feel so good. To be in there, at least, I mean, he's got the black suit and the trailers and stuff. I would assume Venom's gonna be in there. Yeah, it's not warm enough in here, so let's just take a quick look around and then probably head back to uh, head back to the uh, farmstead. Oh, that hurts for the night, and then we'll probably just pack up in the morning and figure out where we want to go. There's never usually anything up there. Okay. I don't know why I'm grabbing it, but I am. Let's head back. I mean, we could go up towards Signal Hill. Just, nah, it's just how 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 rough do we want to take it today? You know, it's like, do we? Where am I? Wow, I'm already lost. Where's the barn? <laughs> A little. Okay, we need to go this way. Yeah, it's like we could probably get up to Signal Hill in this, but it's like, how how low do we want to drop our condition? Really? So. Uh, I don't really want to do it too crazy. So let's just cut our losses and probably go inside and hang out for a while. We could read. No, I can't read because my ankle. I can make some bandages. In fact, we need to make bandages because that's how we died last time is we didn't, didn't have any when we needed them. So something, something I always need to try and keep in mind is to have bandages ready to go. Also, will not have the same sort of limits to episode lengths as I had on PlayStation. PlayStation cuts you off in an hour in recordings. Um, this won't do that. We'll probably won't go crazy, but we could. <laughs> we could do some longer episodes if we wanted to. Man, I wasn't warming up out there at all. And it's usually warm enough. Okay, let's make some bandages while I'm thinking about it. God, it's so loud in here. I think it's just my headphones, or maybe I need to turn the audio down or something, but it is like deafening and kind of thirsty. Okay. So let's go ahead and wrap our ankle. for the storm to pass. I guess we could gather some more cloth, too. Cloth is always... I feel like cloth is maybe underrated as something you should try and get as much of as between the beginning of the game. Because bandages... I mean, any clothing you're going to find is probably going to need to be repaired. Um, so just having a good amount of it 
is uh, pretty clutch. Plus, if you needed to make like a snow shelter or um, anything along those lines, it's uh, obviously pretty key. Maybe in this season we avoid Mystery Lake as long as we can. <laughs> we were there for so long last time, I just, I'm really not eager to go back. Um, it's probably getting a little too dark to read now. Thought we had another book. Thought we had a fire starting book. Am I crazy? Because why would I talk about reading? Before we had this this book, if we didn't, been so hungry maybe I didn't life. pick it up. I don't know. We can look in the morning. All right, how tired are we? Where's the bed? It was right here. I do not have a answering net, so I can't find my can't find my bed anywhere. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, that was a chair. Let's do. Let's see if we can uh, do it this way. This isn't really helping me. Any. Table, shelf, bed. Oop, bed. Okay, we're not super tired, but let's just take our chances. So that's three hundred five fifty. Eat one cattail. We'll call it good, and then we'll hit the water. And go to sleep. I will tell you, in terms of, in, in my opinion, in terms of which controller I prefer, the uh, PlayStation 5 controller just totally eats the Xbox controller's lunch. Um, I will say that definitively. And I don't care if you guys want to fight about it or not, but um, yeah. The two are on completely different levels. PlayStation coming out way ahead, in my opinion. Xbox controller just, it feels... I could eat a horse. Sort of cheap compared to... Sony's controller. Okay. We should be completely patched up. Uh, pretty close. So let's uh, let's get out and see uh, where we should head. Something I kind of want to head up to Signal Hill because there's usually a pretty good chance of some clothing spawn there. So let's do that. The downside is though is that uh, we should get that deer pelt too, but we don't have a cutting tool yet. Um, is that there's usually a couple lockers up there that you need to crack open, and uh, I don't have a pry bar yet. So, we're potentially leaving stuff unsearched, and it's like one of those things that, like, honestly, we'll go check it out this once, and then I don't know that we'll go back. So, I don't know. We'll see. I should try and get as many deer pelts as possible, free ones. I just got to get a cutting tool or a little bit of warm clothing or something along those lines. And uh, we need to get some stones so we can clobber rabbits and ptarmigans because I would like to get the... Uh, I could make a couple of snares too, I don't know. Um, I would like to get the base layer this time around. We never really got to it last time, so if we start right off the bat, trying to prepare to try and get that, um, maybe we'll have some better luck. It was just like we always had something else to do in season four, so we just never, never got it. Plus, I think maybe I did kill a ptarmigan or two, and then I just didn't get the fur or the uh, feathers. To find some place to escape this cold. Nothing. All right, we gotta watch for the bear that's over here. Maybe we'll try to get to uh, um, 
Godforsaken airfield in this. I don't know. Got a long ways to, like, we got to get ourselves established before we can even really think about what kind of crazy things freezing. we want to do. Okay, so there's the rope. Avoid the rope, we will. I think we'll, I mean, we can avoid the rope. It's not going to be an issue. Just got to watch for the bear. So I don't hear him. Usually you'll hear him. If he was going to be like right over there or something, then I don't. So unless he's like still sleeping or something, then I think we're okay. Although this weather is making me a little anxious. gonna lose another ankle here just because long dark things um are the I hear the ptarmian are the um improvised crampons worth it like is that something <laughs> would you recommend that to someone who's constantly spraining their ankles I mean I'm also known to sprain my ankles while wearing crampons but, like, is that something we should invest the time and resources in? I haven't even actually, like, looked at the recipe. I'm not 100% sure what we would need. I imagine we'd need scrap metal. Maybe some cloth or something along those lines. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, maybe we maybe we do that. Or maybe we just go over to Ash Canyon. We are already talking about going to Timberwolf, so... Would make sense to do. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this game lately. Again, you know? I mean, obviously, play it because I enjoy it, but sometimes, you know, it's just like something to play, and then sometimes I'm like really into it, and, and uh, I'm really into it right now. And I think the graphics updates that I'm like seeing from coming from PlayStation are probably part of it. Okay, let's hope there's something good in here for us. Maybe we'll do, uh... What's it called with all the towers? I've never finished that, so... Okay, these are both open. Could end up being useful. Oh, awesome. I've never even seen this before. Stylish, to a point. They're pretty beat up, but they, if we repair them, they'll be better than what we're wearing. We'll do that. Not probably the warmest thing, but gives us something else for now. And then nothing under here, right? There's a container. Take that. Car battery. Um, we can take that out to the radio tower. I don't know. I don't know if it's really worth it to us right now because we'll just get cold out there. Thought to look here. I need more of that. Yeah, we could use a good uh, cattail run. You know, I said let's stay away from Mystery Lake, but getting the forlorn to forge would be good. Where else could we go forge? We could forge. Uh, uh, I'm blinking. I'm blinking at the moment, guys. Oh, none of these were locked, huh? It's got to be a first. 
Okay, well, we need to warm up, so let's hit the bed and try and warm up as much as possible. And then what do we want to do? I mean, we could go to... We're right here. Well, it sounds like there's another storm, so we really need to get out of here. Um, but we could go to Mystery Lake, start that whole rigmarole. Um, head to Forlorn. Forge. Or we could kind of go the opposite direction and go towards the summit. Decisions. What's what's more important to us first? Tools or potential gear? I, I want to lean towards tools because they're a known commodity. We don't know what we'll find um, up, up on the summit. So I, yeah, I think I think tools is the way I want to go. Let's let's poke our head outside. It sounds like it's storming again. It may just be windy. And now it's storming. Sort of. Oh, there's a pry bar. Just randomly in the snow. All right, well, let's go back in here. Plus, if we go to Forlorn, then we can get a ton of uh, cattails and kind of set ourselves up for success there. Go ahead and try and read a little bit more while we're stuck indoors. That's the problem with the contextual uh, HUD, is like you can't tell that very well in advance unless you specifically look. And that's going to be our last cattail if we eat that one. And that's fine, because we don't have enough to get through the night anyway, so. Um, I guess, man, we could go hit Thompson Crossing before we roll out of here, but we're already right next to the exit, right? Like, the... Path, the, the cave to Winding River is like right behind us. So I'm tempted to just try and pack up and head that way. We, we need the storm to stop, but... I think my stomach is eating itself. Sounds like it just did. Yeah, nice. Okay. Yeah, I, I'd like to hit Thompson's Crossing. Um, let's see, we gotta go this way. But uh, like I said, we're right here. Let's just see. Let's just let's just go to Mystery Lake. Let's just go that whole route and uh, get what we need, and then let, we can try and do it with some haste and uh, get back over to Thompson's Crossing. And you know, I do I do want to summit. It's just the question of what do we do first. And let's just go. Let's just go work on Forge. So like I said, it's maybe somewhat better to do the the known commodity than push ourselves to get up to the top of the summit without really knowing what we're getting ourselves into. I need some stones to throw at these rabbits. Or these ptarmigans, I mean. And rabbits too, I mean, let's be honest. I'm, I am like, it is, it is Friday evening right now. I am, I am elated. It has been a long work week and uh, really a long last couple of weeks. I've uh, been on the road for the last two weeks and basically, you know, had the two or three days in between of coming home from one place, basically spending the weekend and then, and then traveling out again. And it's, it's just, ugh. I, I did it uh, all the time when I was younger, when I first started, you know, out of college and got my job and I traveled, you know, for the first year or so, I was gone basically every week. And, uh, you know, I, I don't travel nearly that much anymore. Um, and it just happened, you know, the way that things kind of lined up this time that I was gone two weeks in a row and it just, it just saps me. Uh, I just, you know, it's my job, I'll do it, but, uh, yeah, you know, I get to the end and I'm just like, big exhale. <laughs> Glad to be home. 
Glad to be home. And, you know, I guess when I was younger too, the, the type of travel and type of work I did for the company I worked for, I traveled for... I traveled with groups, like, of, of co-workers and things. Like, a lot of us would go where, where we were going, and now I'm kind of, like, specialized enough in my job that it's just me that goes. And, uh... So it's, it's maybe a little bit more lonely, too. There's, you know, not the distraction of, of co-workers and friends and things there with me to kind of keep company and things. So it's like, go to work, you know, during the day and then head back to the hotel at night. And, you know, generally just with as busy as I am now, older, more responsibilities, like, you know... Uh, I, I generally have to end up spending some time catching up in the evenings from the from the you know clients and things that I can't work with during the day because I'm you know on site somewhere or, or you know working with folks that are directly in front of me and so it's just yeah it's just, uh, I don't know I still I still really like my job day to day it just you know there's this hard situations you just kind of got to deal with periodically. Which is probably everybody's job. Wouldn't wouldn't be uh, what what's the saying? Wouldn't be I don't, I don't know. Wouldn't be a job if it was fun. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, we were huffing and puffing for sure. We're gonna let Mackenzie talk for a while until he gets until he gets too annoying, and then we'll mute him. Right up here. We never did see the bear. It's not a bad thing, just kind of surprising. I was going to say, there's usually a deer, and he's right there. Other than that, we're probably getting wet. It would have been a good time to go for Thompson's because we're pretty warm. But like I said, we're right here. Let's just take the path of least resistance and uh, work on getting into Mystery Lake and, and whatnot. Okay, I wasn't sure. I can kind of see. I wasn't sure what it was going to be like in here. You guys are probably not going to be able to see this at all. But I can see well enough that it doesn't warrant lighting a flare or anything right now. Just take it uh, as we can. I don't think I've said it yet uh, today or in this episode, guys, but... Uh, you know, I do appreciate y'all tuning in, checking out the episode as usual. Um, I know I say it all the time, but I do sincerely mean that. Um, you know, it's always fun to kind of see how many people have, have checked out, you know, the latest episode and and uh, what kind of comments you guys leave on that one. Um, you know, I do genuinely enjoy and appreciate each and every one of you that, that tunes in and enjoys what we what we do here. Um, I thought there was some stuff down here, like a dead guy or something. And, uh, and just, you know, as usual, as well. If you're new here, maybe this is the first episode you're checking out. Haven't subscribed to the channel yet. Obviously, we just, just love and appreciate, um, if that's something you're interested in doing, then going ahead and doing it. Obviously the goal is just to kind of continue to grow. I'm not chasing any particular subscriber count or anything, but... Ah, oh, that's cool. I don't remember it being that open in the past, but maybe it's always been that way. Maybe it's a different cave that I'm thinking of is, clo is more closed. So let's grab some cattails here for sure. And uh, we're still pretty warm. So we don't necessarily got to hurry. If it doesn't get much colder, getting some weird like vertical artifacts is probably 
something in the settings I can play with. I don't know if how much you guys will be able to even tell, but it's like the when I look down, it goes darker. When I look up, it's lighter. Um, but there's usually a deer carcass, or a couple deer carcasses here. If it's not uber cold, then maybe we'll try to grab a couple of those pelts and get that process started. Um, we'll still need guts, and I don't really want to grab the guts from out here because of the wolves, but um, maybe from the one like right before we go into the dam, if we're able to get that one okay. We'll see. See when we get there and how warm we are and all that fun stuff. Oh, these stones. Let's grab like two or three of these guys. Glad I remembered that. Okay. We have got our rocks. I wonder when the gloves, if you didn't see the dev diary, we are officially getting gloves, guys. Our hands will reflect what we actually have on them. Um, Unless I'm mistaken, there wasn't a date in there, but I'm excited to see what that looks like. I have my little glove on as I'm getting ready to throw my stone. I'm excited. Got a couple more cattails. Let's grab these. I'm grabbing both right now. I'm grabbing the heads too for uh, for the fire for the tinder fire starter, which we don't have matches yet. This body's not usually here, is it? I don't remember ever seeing this body before. Also, we're probably losing time to be able to grab the pelts and not take some damage. Maybe it's always there, but I don't remember. He's empty, so. Alright, let's dip up into this cave and just maybe in a weird chance there's going to be a bedroll in there. Where did we end up finding it? Uh, oh, in Mountain Town. At the gas station. In season 4 with this new, uh, new loot table. Probably grab some of this old man's beard too. While we're thinking about it, let's grab all of these. I really doubt there's one in here, but who knows? Crazier things have happened. I think maybe we try to skip the deer that's on the rocks over here and just maybe we'll try and grab the one right by the door so that way like if we do get cold we're not all the way on the other side of the uh i guess I don't, would you call this a lake i mean it's on the other side of the dam usually that amounts to a lake but I'll figure it out i'm gonna grab every pretty much every cattail i see He's going for that rabbit. I'd like to be closer. Yeah, I think that deer is up there. I don't think we're going to get... If I spend the time to grab these. No, he might not be done eating. I'm just like, he may be done eating by the time we get over there. Guess we'll see. But I'd, I'd rather try to or have to deal with getting by him than not have these cattails. So. It's a risk I'm willing to take. I can't feel my hands. We could be real daring and go for those. Oh wow, he finished right here. He's got his back got his back to us though, so if we can get just a little bit further away, he may not come after us. Nope. Okay. We should be good.
Part of me sort of wishes that just the average wolf like him versus the timber wolves, I kind of wish that I better find some water. He was gray. Like cuz you like the timber wolves look good. I wish that that was the model for the standard wolf and maybe either maybe maybe the the timber wolves are black or um I don't think we're going to be able to get that deer. We're we're starting to be too cold. Um you know, maybe they're just different some other way. But the gray wolf would be cool to be seeing more frequently. Other than just just plainly avoiding <laughs> plainly avoiding the timber wolves. Can't get in there. Mm, too fast. Wonder how we're doing on weight. Maybe we'll maybe we'll try some mouse and keyboard Damn. in the game. Freezing. Really not that big a deal, but I would be curious to see how it plays. The shooting would be one thing, right? Because you know you're kind of more you can use the mouse to aim maybe a little bit more effectively than what you can. Yeah, we're too cold. Can't mess with him right now. Might be something to try sometime. I don't know. Alright, nothing. Let's go in. Okay. Well, my intention is not really to get into here and to get bogged down with the looting. I, like... We always loot the dam. I just... I just don't like looting. I don't like spending the amount of time and the dam that it takes to search the whole place. You know, I... You, you kind of get bogged down here for 20, 30 minutes just looting. And most of the time you're not going to find anything. This is pretty dandy. Sensitivity is still a little, still a little too much. Requires memento key. to see like the first time that I, I try to use the bow on a on a deer or a moose or something how how it compares like cuz I don't know the idea is the same but it's a different controller where's the good stuff I'm already complaining that it's too sensitive and so that yeah, could could be interesting you guys can see right now. I'm straining to see. Might have to fire up the flare. Um, yeah, let's do it. There's a chance we're gonna find a lantern in here anyway. So, or, or another flare. Plus, we don't really need another flare for a while if we're gonna be working on forging and all that fun stuff, so just try and make sure we get through here before it burns out. We're probably going to need it upstairs too. So we got to move somewhat quick through here. It's just silly because, you know, I'm not going to find anything anyway. We still got to do it, don't we? 
It's like 150 little games of, of, uh, of the lottery. Okay. Nothing. I'm just speed looting. Do -do -do -do. Like we need uh, fast paced Jeopardy music or something. I'll tell you what, that red is like messing with my eyes. I looked away and like everything I saw was still red. I was hoping he would have a lantern, or she, I'm not sure which. Usually they do. At least not interloper. You can't go up that, that's right. Um, I'd like to go up top, because chances are there's another uh, flare up there. Can I climb with this? Well, I think he pulls it back up when he gets to the top. We'll see. Otherwise, it's down there on the ground. Yeah, okay. I don't know that we really needed to do this, but... If I don't rest soon, I'm gonna faint. Uh, you'll be doing just fine, friend. Again, he's working his way on getting muted. Should have gone the other way first, because I like to come down here. Not, nothing over here anyway, but let's go check the far end and then we'll come back. Probably before we're able to really search much upstairs. Oh wow, it's actually after dark. I didn't realize it was so late. We might as well just pack it in, go across the lot to the trailer, and go to sleep. Let's make the most of the flare while we got it. safe in here that we could hit. Um, and your guys' experience, is the PC version, is it quite as buggy as what uh, it is the PlayStation version's been for me? There's a book, but it's a shooting guide, so I'm not even going to bother. Um, or is it, in, is it any better? Is it worse? This is our only light, so let's, yeah, let's just, we'll come back tomorrow. Yeah, let's hit these real quick. Couldn't figure out how to throw it. Didn't there always used to be a dead deer in here? Am I crazy thinking that? There used to be a deer that was always in here, and maybe maybe it's Can't on lower difficulties. Feet. I don't I don't know, but I was thinking maybe we'd grab that. But it's not there. It does not exist. Shooting book. Small arms. Nothing in the back. Uh oh, where's he at? 
not go down that road this early. Should be a bed. Yep. All right. Um. All right. Dinner. See if we get sick. Cross our fingers we don't. It's twenty six percent. We don't have a can opener yet, so we're gonna lose some of that. No sickness. That's good. Peaches. Let's do the peaches. Man, we need to grab that water from the toilets in there. And then we need to find some matches in short order. I probably didn't need to drink that. Oh, well. Should be good, right? Yep. All right. Let's get our 10. Took longer than expected to sleep all night. Yeah, we need to probably go across the, the street again and get the uh, water out of the toilets in the dam. I'm going to need to eat soon. It's dark. Real dark. Long dark. See what it did there? All right, we are on day two, folks. Might as well search this. see our friend anymore. Wonder if the owner's around. Nice. We'll get some use out of that. It's not much, but it's something. I'd like to get over to camp office because I'm betting that hockey jersey is probably so a guaranteed hungry. spawn. So we'll get that and that'll give us some pretty decent warmth. Let's go check the dead guy over there. Forget that he's here. So one thing I'd like to do on PC is is maybe play through Winter Mute, um, and because I know there's probably achievements and things that I don't have on PC for that, and so I'd like to to get those. Um, I don't know if that's something you guys are interested in seeing. I know we already did like episode one and did we do episode two. We did episode four for sure. Wow, look how dark it is in here. Am I gonna be able to find the bathroom? Do I need to just pass some time? I don't know. It's super dark. Let's uh let's hit the safe and then I don't know. Really dark. Okay, so that was like twenty-four. Let's go around the horn. Call that uh fifty-seven. I didn't think it was going to work. All right, let's go back around. 24. 57. 24, 57. What? 14. Right. 24, 57, 14. 24. 57. 14. Stuff will come in handy. Gee, gee, thanks. Man, I'm, am I crazy? You always used to get at least something, like, out of that. Maybe I'm just misremembering or wishful remembering or something, but... Man, this is not going to work for us, guys. we got to get some light in there. Let's head out. Problem is, 
Yeah, we need that water, like today. Unless we go make some, but we don't have any matches. And we used our one flare. So, well, could be interesting. Alright, we'll head for uh, camp office and maybe we make it. No, we don't have any matches. Maybe we'll find matches there. That's going to be the hope. Kind of hustle a little bit, just given our predicament. It may end up being a long day if we don't get some water. Watch for wolves. Adjust my microphone. Not working for me. Have a uh, Elgato low profile microphone arm. And been a little disappointed. It was great for a while, and then I don't. It's just I haven't had it maybe a year or so, and it's just like I don't know. It just doesn't hold. So my microphone starts to droop. Yeah, still doing it. Anyway, you guys don't care. Let's uh, get to camp office here. We'll stop by the, the train, the boxcar. like right around the corner. Dear Carcass, man, I'd really love to get the pelts and start that process, but it's too cold at the moment. I don't know if the storm is going to get better or worse. Looks we'll like the feathers, though. you if I don't figure out this water situation. Man, maybe the wolves aren't out. Because I just went straight down the tracks with no, no problems at all. they're both like in the same spot directly in front of where I need to go uh, admittedly I was not looking at the screen and I looked oh gosh there's one two three they're like all right in front of my path to camp office I need to like go up and around them there's one down there there's one that just ran across and then there's him way. Should get us by him. Remember when I was like, let's not go to Mystery Lake. Like we're going to the most like OP location. <laughs> Straight to camp office. It's okay. We'll, we'll try not to stick around here very long. I, I, I personally don't want to. I'd like to get out and do something else. But 
we need to get some tools and things, and so I think this is going to be our best option. And let's do this here while you guys are chilling. See how good I am on the old Xbox controller. That was way off, and they're all gone now. Okay, well, let's go inside. Those were some bad misses. Oh, mad miss. Went right down the middle of all of them. Okay, let's go see if the jersey's up there. I'm hoping it is. It's usually... it's not. Um, it's usually right there on the floor. So there's that. No bedroll to be seen either, at least up here. I doubt there's one downstairs. So yeah, there's that. That'll come in handy. Let's take that one for sure. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, I think this is probably a good spot for us to stop um, for today. We will uh, have to figure out this water thing in pretty short order. Let's just maybe take one more peek around here and see if there's not any matches before we wrap. Um, not seeing any unless they're in a container, which is possible. And, and maybe I'll do some looting before we fire off the next episode. But yeah, no, I don't see any matches, at least at, at face value. So um, yeah, that's going to be interesting. We're going to need to figure that out pretty quick. I mean, we could run over to Trappers too, and hopefully there would be some there. But it's it's hard to tell, right? Um, it's hard to hard to know what we're gonna get into. So, but anyways, we'll uh, we'll figure that out next time. As I said earlier, guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in, checking out the episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to hit the like button for me. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, would uh, invite you to go ahead and do that. And of course, guys, any comments you have for me, throw those into the comments section and I'll uh, get back to you there. But uh, otherwise, guys, that is it for me in this one. I'll catch you all next time. Thanks.